Why Dust of Appearance? Because I like the idea of um, using the vision tool that he has it for. And then you start the fight. And then for 10 seconds long, you can trace everyone's positioning. Whereas Raven Talent has a persistent passive effect. But the activatable is mostly for scouting purposes like macro scouting. I think Dust is a bit better for pre-positioning of a team fight. Because after you cast it, you do not need to mind Medivh's positioning in order to make full use of the vision. Whereas with the Raven Familiar, you need to continue to be in a central place and it makes your positioning slightly worse in the team fight. Now I don't need to. <laughs> Instant no lock. Man. I bring a mega death. Change is upon us. Um, I'm not sure we need a mage. We need AA plus GK. Sure, we need a mate. I guess it's fine. Hold on, this nice. No, not Vala. Yeah, Vala's fine. He played nice Vala last game. Uh, Mr. Samara says, hey, I have a question. Why is the build for more Frostwolf resilience stacks from abilities played? I play it, I play it sometimes. I feel like I have great sustain on lane in a team fight too. More Frostwolf resilience from abilities. Oh, you mean at level one? Why isn't it more played, you mean? You mean the level three wolf talent? Because there is nothing else that gives you more from abilities. It only gets more from the wolf itself. And that's why it's bad. Block is better if you want sustain. It's interesting because Leviathan, he's been warrior in all of my games, but the his first two take warrior. Gone. So, where does it leave him? Can he play other roles? <laughs> um, this is what I'll take because. Um, Well, I'll take because uh, Balloon, grant us uh, strength. it's so nice with cooldown. Okay, prepare for combat, everybody. Anubarak, Diablo. They're all pretty okay. Tremble before me. Should we direct fire this game? Hmm. Triple Uther. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that works. I didn't know you could just leave out the name if you are that one. I knew that you could smiley this face, but I didn't know me. that part. Gadget yeah, Gasm skin. How is Heroes 2.0? It's extremely, uh, it's, it's extremely fun. I mean, it, the game was fun before, but it just adds a dimension of aliveness, of uh, interactivity, with both the announcers, the personal choice, you know, some of the cosmetics, the fact that you can earn everything. A little bit of, uh, you know, suspense with the chests. 
and not to mention all the fine new people that have joined us and our community. Looking at the draft, they've got nice setup with power slide into entangle into drag tongue with Li Ming and Lunara shooting away. Lunara was a pick in a large part to counter Uther's healing type and it was, it was clever, I've, I've done similar attempts. But then when you get double support, suddenly Lunara is not quite as fine of a choice. She's still good, don't get me wrong, but she doesn't abuse the lack of sustained support anymore. For the Aria level 1, if you want to uh, pick Searing Light, you would do so only if you both have a fair amount of frontliners. Hope you're ready, now we, we do have Diablo Uther and they have Dahaka and ETC, which is a decent amount, it's two apiece, Five, with the minimum four, usually being one. Three, but it's not three. One. Usually I try to have five frontliners, three for us and two for them, or vice versa, in order for me to take Searing Light. Now I feel more compelled to take one of the others. Swift Sweep, Increasing Clarity. But I can also go for Righteous Assault. Have courage. Or Increasing Clarity. But I'll go Swift Sweep, it is by far the safest. having fun. Nice lag spike. If Gul'dan would stop pushing the lane... Whoa! Lags! Then we wouldn't have such a trouble soaking this lane. Look at what happened. taking a lot of damage from me. I mean, it's getting kind of repetitive, isn't it? <laughs> it's weird, I haven't had energy all game yet. I could use a little help here. Yeah! That's our first blood. She's a talent! This voice actor is a goddess. Anyone out there? Is there anyone out there? <laughs> so funny. And we just lost the fort like that because of Li Ming's damage, basically. Really good job. As was Our fort was destroyed. My temple's power has been expended. You are stronger than I believe. Is there anyone out there? We all feel like that in Hero League sometimes, don't we? Oh, 
Like Belle. Uh, bursting light normally, though I have been disappointed with the energy generation, but it's mostly been laning. I can also get energized cord, or hell, even glimmer of hub. Yeah, I think I'll get glimmer of hub this time. I think it's right. The light of the sun grows within the temple. It's not quite as Soon many repetitive heals as bursting. That is really nice as well. Yes. Look at that. I barely lost My energy. As long as you have a glove, you don't lose energy. Guardian. They buffed it like mad. 75%? Jiminy Jellicers, bro. You should never take anything else. Dead. Thank you, base Uther. Everyone forgot about Diablo. Oh, frack. I missed my heal. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Uther. Resurrect hype. It's so cool when they explode like that. I did it. But someone else told me to. He did it, the absolute madman. It's for the memes. <laughs> the ends justify the memes. We should capture this mercenary camp. There is always If it must be. Are they getting the hahaka? Yeah. yeah, he's dead. He's dead as a donkey. That just expired. <laughs> Divine storm! Waited for that globe. I shall not Life essence. This is your the Haka never came. She's a talent. She's a talent. Blinding on converging. I'll get uh, I mean converging is a freaking meme talent. Let's get it.
convert. Check this out. It's nice that she focuses on what I had rather than on what I have now. How many takedowns did I have? Six? Eh. Uh oh. It's like Fellowship of the Ring. Picked off one by one. The light fades. But here, here's super ether value. Everyone gets armor. Everyone that he heals. Cowardice is not a virtue. Cowardice is not a virtue. Greetings, friend. Less has regrown. <laughs> Many thanks for the save. <laughs> His W set us free. Yo, well Vasho Adam, thanks for the sub. Well I see some value of converging, of course. Well, he died before I could use it, but Excellent work. we're gonna lose our keep. This is your uh, Vala AA build is still possible. Raising, but Melty Shot is the safest. Careful, no resurrect yet. Can't use such powerful heroics too often. There's a bar of hope. Reservoir of Hope and Glimmer of Hope are such insane synergy right now. 75% means you'll always have it. That means you're gonna get 1 million heals soon. This is your doing, I assume. It's extremely insane. A worthwhile endeavor. They got a fort. Good job by them. But we'll get one too. And the one we get is full HP. Kill it before we laser it. Wait, wait. No, we lost a fort. There goes the fort. I always wait for a glow before I heal. I've never had this many stacks this fast. The magic of the temples. Uh, this time, this time I had to use it before a glow. Pity. Dying, so I'm not getting rid of right value. Just 
going to let Bala die. So he's not MVP. <laughs> I think Uther... <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a yes. <laughs> nice. GG. How much were we healing for? Did you guys see? I think it's AoE heal ancestral. Uh, was the ETC a bot? Because he had Marsh, but he never used it. WW Spell Shield, Guardian of Ancient Kings, and Holy Fire. Who's Rizashu? Dahaka? Oh. Great job, you were alive 96% of the match. Searing Light, Glimmer of Hope, and Reservoir of Hope are actually pretty scary talent combo. Yeah, dude, Seer Samon, you, you are so right. If I had, my God, I'd be, I'd be doing like a thousand damage per W. As long as I have the uh, patience to wait for globes. God, I'm gonna try that next time. Searing Light, Reservoir of Hope, and Glimmer of Hope. Absolute monkey bonkers. Don't go for the back line as far. Just be a be an initiation bot for your team. Your team Gather should follow up. If you do not die, choice. you do not die. The choice is simple. Too bad. <laughs> oh yeah! That's a sick extract. 